today i have a three shot kill all class setup for you guys today i'm going to show you guys a really quick glimpse of what my class setup is so for the laser i'm running the tack laser then for stock i got the forge tack cq b comb for the ammunition i got the 556 nato 30 round magazines for the rear grip i've got the stippled grip tape for my perk i've got slide of hand i like to go in depth about every single attachment and show you guys some proof with weapon testing of why i chose these specific attachments definitely stick around for that if you want to enjoy learning more about the weapon and especially how you could use this weapon to its optimized potential with no attachments on it it's a three shot kill from five to ten meters out then it's a four shot kill from 15 to 25 meters out and then it's five shots to kill at 30 meters and then six shots to kill from 35 to 50 meters. Let's talk about that ammunition 556 five, NATO 30 round attachment. So with this attachment, it's a three shot kill from five to 10 meters, which is still the same. There's no change from 15 to 40 meters. It's a four shot kill. So this is actually better than the MP5 because the MP5 is a four shot kill from 10 to 20 meters only. Whereas this AUG is a four shot kill from 15 to 40 meters. And then at 45 meters, it's a five shot kill. So this is definitely a great alternative if you wanna use something different than the MP5. Now on the AUG, when you put on stopping power plus the 5.56, nato 30 round mags attachment up close it's a two shot kill from five to ten meters and then from 15 to 60 meters it's a three shot kill and at 65 meters out it's a four shot kill this is definitely a class setup combination that you want to do if you want to reduce those shots to kill from almost any range and with a submachine gun i highly recommend engaging from short to mid range anyway but if you need to this class setup is definitely going to be very reliable from long range as you can see here the recoil on this gun is very predictive with no attachments the recoil basically just goes straight up so i put on the ranger four grip and it didn't really do much as you can see here and i also did put on the compensator and same result didn't really do much as well now if you combine the ranger and the compensator you definitely do see some reduced vertical recoil now just for an added bonus i did get curious with the 407 millimeter extended barrel because one of the pros is recoil control so i wanted to try this out and that's the result right there you pretty much don't really get any recoil control with this weapon to begin with so with that said if you want to go ahead and try to effectively reduce that recoil i would highly suggest combining the ranger with the compensator attachments but it's going to be at the cost of your aim down sight speed so i don't really recommend this if you're going to play a lot more aggressive which i actually do recommend doing with this specific class setup because it is an smg you want to get up close and personal so with that said you're going to need speed on your side and it doesn't really make much sense to put on these attachments if that's going to reduce your aim down sight speed so going back to the recoil like i said it is a very predictive pattern so you won't really notice this recoil too much when you're engaging in a gunfight especially if you're playing from short to medium ranges or even at long ranges it's really easy to control just tug your right controller stick down in order to counteract that recoil that goes straight up so it's fairly easy to control recoil on this gun and that's why i've concluded that we don't need any under barrel or muzzle to help control control the recoil so here's what the aug looks like without any attachments right here as you can see the aim down sight speed is quite on the slow side however if you put on all the attachments that i mentioned at the beginning of the video you can see that the aim down sight speed is increased greatly so this is exactly what we want and this is what we're looking for in order to win those gunfights the reloading is really slow on the aug so here's a quick clip of it without sleight of hand on it and if you take that and you want to compare it to what you have when you have sleight of hand perk on it the difference is night and day i feel like it's highly necessary especially on an aggressive class setup like this you definitely want to run the sleight of hand perk and it does make a big difference all right so the first attachment that we're going to talk about on the aug is the tack laser the pro is aim down side speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness now it does have a con of your laser being visible to enemies now the way to effectively use this weapon while you've got this attachment on so that you can avoid your laser being visible to enemies is to keep your engagements in close quarter combat the reason why is if you were to just sit in the back of a map and you're just aiming down a long line of sight 
enemies who are walking by that area are going to see your green light flickering and that's going to expose your location so of course you don't want to give away your location or your position and that's going to lead to an unnecessary death so with that said with using the tact laser your best bet is to run around the map and try to keep those engagements really close so that the enemies don't even have a chance to see that green laser and what we're really looking for with this attachment anyway is that aim down side speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness this is very great for aggressive type of players so moving on we've got the stock attachment called the forge tag cqb comb now this one has a pro of your aim down sight speed as well at the cost of aiming stability however we don't need to worry about the con here because we've got the tack laser as mentioned previously it helps with your aiming stability so we don't need to worry about the cons the main reason why we put this on here versus the other two which was the aiming walking movement speed as well as the aiming stability is because the aim down side speed is the most important thing that we need to get out of this attachment this gun has a naturally slow ads time as i've said and shown you so putting on this attachment definitely makes a lot of sense all right so moving down to the perk sleight of hand sleight of hand is going to be very necessary we're playing aggressive you always want to make sure that you're reloaded and ready to go for the next gunfight like i said previously the reload time on this weapon is naturally very slow so in order to counteract that we're going to put on the sleight of hand perk right here and this is going to be very necessary for our aggressive play style moving on to the rear grip i've got the stippled grip tape on here the pros are the aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed because it allows us to fire our weapon a lot faster after sprinting and this is going to be key in winning those gunfights when you're in close quarter combat and it's a staple attachment in my opinion for every weapon that does offer this attachment i would highly recommend always putting on stippled grip tape on every weapon that you have if it offers Offers it for the last attachment this is the game changer right here and how this class setup is going to be a three shot kill only when you combine it with the stopping power field upgrade which is what i recommend if you want to reduce those shots to kill so the pro is your damage as well as your range with the stopping power you're going to be able to get those three shot kills from 15 to 60 meters out so that's absolutely incredible because most of our engagements are likely to be between 10 to 30 meters anyway so you're definitely going to be melting enemies when you're using this setup let's move on to my secondary which is just the 357 xrk now nothing special here this is all personal preference you like using something specific for your secondary weapon i highly recommend you just roll with whatever you're comfortable with let's move on to the perks here for my first perk i've got the eod eod is very necessary in my opinion because when you're running around the map you've always got those pesky little claymores proximity mines and even people tossing c4s at you eod is going to help you reduce that damage that you take from those explosives ultimately saving you from an unnecessary death moving on to perk 2 we've got on ghost this one is very much needed as well in my opinion because you're undetectable by uavs radar drones and heartbeat sensors and you're immune to snapshot grenades now the main thing that i use this for is to be undetected by uavs because it's so easy to to get uavs in this game so putting on this ghost perk is going to help conceal your location and the enemy won't be able to find you for an easy kill so i'd highly recommend putting on ghost for perk two for perk number three i'm using tracker i really enjoy using tracker because it literally shows you the enemy footprints and if you follow it it will lead you to the enemy and it's going to lead up to an easy kill and that's why i like tracker it just makes everything a lot easier the more intel you have in this game the more successful you're going to be because knowledge is power so as you may have noticed i am running my specialist bonus perks now the main reason why is because i personally don't feel like running with kill streaks are worth it because they're so easy to get shot down and i feel like having all the perks in the game just makes you that much more unstoppable you're pretty much a super soldier running around the map with all perks in the game so moving on to lethals i've got the c4 this one is my personal favorite how i want you guys to use this class setup the c4 will definitely complement the aggressive play style so you can and throw a c4 to a window for somebody camping or onto a flag if you're playing domination you can even use it in 1v1 situations to bail you out because sometimes you can't see the enemy that you're going against because he's hiding behind an object or something like that if you toss this c4 over that object and detonate it while it's in mid-air you'll definitely get that easy kill lastly we've got the stim shot for our tactical with this aggressive play style we want to be able to heal ourselves a lot faster whether it's in a gunfight or you're trying to get out of a situation stim shot will give you a lot more confidence now keep in mind you want to use this in opportune times like i just suggested this
this will definitely help speed up that recovery time and it's very crucial for playing aggressive so yeah guys that's about it for this aug class setup let me know what you think about it in the comments down below make sure to drop a like if you did find the video helpful and subscribe if you're new around here and don't forget to turn on notifications and i will see you guys in the next video peace